Hey guys, it's me, Goy Locks, and this is my channel, Goy Locks Does That Aesthetics. And so today I'm gonna like get a little bit more specific about my BBL and like the whole process because a few have been a few of you have been like hitting me up, asking me about the cost and my doctor and all that stuff. Um, so I'll get into detail. So first and foremost, I decided I wanted a BBL, and originally the reason I decided I want one, wanted one, is because I just wanted to be able to like gain a little bit of weight and have a flat stomach. Like that was my original goal. Cause I was so small. Like I said, I was like 115, 120. So I didn't think that the surgery was gonna give me a big butt. I thought it would just, um, you know, help my stomach be flat, which was cool with me. Um, so that was my original goal. I started researching. Now, originally I had already had a breast augmentation uh, by a doctor who practices out of Alexandria. Virginia. Her name is um, Buena Ventura, and she did like an amazing job, like amazing job. Like it looked so natural. I loved it. So by that time, I was kind of already in love with like Hispanic female doctors, and like as I started doing my research, like comparing doctors from the U.S. versus doctors in like Latin American countries, like it was really like no comparison. Um, like there's. Yeah, I don't know if they're still popular, but the, the popular doctors at the time, there was like Dr. Miami and there was like a doctor, I cannot remember his name, uh, who practiced out of Atlanta. And like when I saw the woman going to the U.S. doctors versus the women going to like the Latin American doctors, like it was really like a comparison. Like I feel like a lot of American doctors only concentrate on making your butt bigger. And that's not really what it's about. It's about creating a beautiful shape that you love, not just having a big butt. So I I just didn't see the results that I liked in the US, um, honestly. And plus, the, the price is like $10,000. I'm sure it's probably gonna change now, but it was like $10,000 to get the procedure. To me, the results were just not that great. And like the results from like, um, you know, Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, Dominican Republic were like, oh, uh, like beautiful. And I was like doing my research on Real Self. If you are like interested in BBL, like please like go to that website. Like it's all about plastic surgery. No one's there to judge you. They'll give you their honest opinions. You can see the results. It's awesome. Please check that website out. That's what I did. And that's how I found my doctor. So now originally, the popular doctor at the time was uh, Yili Vilo Santos, and she was the rumored doctor of um, Yara Sanchez. Okay, so everybody wanted to go to her because obviously her results were beautiful. So I was like, hey, I want to go to her too because I want the best results, right? So how it works or how it used to work is that you would take pictures of your body and you would send it to her and then she would assess the price for you, right? So. <laughs> Compared to the U.S., prices in the Dominican Republic are like super cheap, right? So I was really small at the time, and they kind of uh, based their price on like how much work they had to do. And because I was so small, she only quoted me like two thousand dollars. I was like, oh, yay! <laughs> right? So it was like two thousand dollars that she quoted me, and I was, you know, jazz. But the only thing is, like, it would have took me. It would have taken forever to see her like six to eight months and I was like Ew, I don't want to wait that long right but I was like you know anything worth having is worth waiting for so I was like all right cool so I was going to send her like my deposit because you have to send a deposit like Western Union first and I don't know there was rumors I don't know this to be true I just heard a lot of women repeated that her bedside manner can be a little uh, can be a little like cold you know and you know as much as I love a BBL it's still a surgery it's still like you know like it, it's still a risk so I don't know I didn't want to go and have like this major surgery and just have someone who I felt like wasn't caring uh, I don't know maybe I'm just being like you know a girl about it but like that's how I felt so I was gonna go with her and then last minute I kind of changed my mind because I started hearing about um, this other doctor who I eventually went to, which was Dr. Duran. Like, she is like popping now, but I went to her before she was popping. <laughs> and, like, I had her, she was like uh, Yeezy's best friend. I saw her work. Obviously, not as many people were going to her, but she was still doing great work. And I heard she had a really nice bedside manner. So I was like, all right, cool. So I sent my pictures to Dr. Duran, and she 
quoted me like a similar price. It's like twenty two hundred dollars. So I was like, bet. Uh, so I sent her my deposit. We scheduled a surgery day, and it was on and cracking. So I like uh, bought my plane ticket. I was somehow by some miracle able to get like a super great deal with like JetBlue. I think it's like two hundred something dollars, and. Um, I asked my friend to go with me, like, if you have a BBL, like, please have someone come with you, like, you'll need them there for at least the first week to, like, help care for you, because you're going to be in a lot of pain, you're going to be super, super uncomfortable. So I asked my friend to come with me, she was like, ooh, bet, you know, <laughs> and uh, I ended up staying, uh, I can't remember where we stayed, like, I didn't stay in a recovery house, I stayed in, like, an Airbnb. Uh, with my friend and like it was so cheap. I think like for the whole week we stayed a week I think for the whole week we each like paid like a hundred dollars each <laughs> So I had like the 22 for the surgery I had a hundred for the room and then it was like, you know, 250 for the um, The plane ticket and so I think literally like that whole trip uh, cost me less than three thousand dollars so I got like my whole surgery medications too for less than three thousand um, dollars so it was a steal especially compared to like ten thousand dollars three thousand dollars was awesome so you know at the time I organized it perfectly I got in early uh, met up with my friend she had like a separate Airbnb for the day because I had my surgery literally the day I landed and then I stayed in the hospital overnight and then after that we went to um, the Airbnb that we shared which was like beautiful. I cannot remember the name of the lady. She was so nice. Dominga! That was her name. Dominga. We stayed at Dominga's um, and she was lovely and um, her home is like right near the ocean like right off these cliffs it's so awesome so we stayed with Dominga for a week and it was super super cheap and then I did something that I was not supposed to do I basically like while we recover I was recovering there for like a week I still still did like touristy things like I still went to the beach and we went like hiking in some caves and we like did a tour of like um the downtown uh Santo Domingo because that's where um that is where Dr. Duran, uh, my doctor, uh, is based. So that's where we were, and that's what I did. So don't do that. <laughs> You're supposed to like lay in bed. Remember? I just, I don't know. I didn't want to, but I healed fine. It's all good. Uh, after my surgery, I did have to go back like a day or two later to get drained because you will have a lot of like swelling in your midsection, and she like literally like pushed it out and drained me like through like my incision in the back which is like right above my like butt crack <laughs> like she pushed it out it was so painful and then after that i did get some massages to again help with the swelling but it was so excruciating i only had like two um i only had two massages it was like so horrible <laughs> like recovering from a bbl is super super painful oh my gosh uh, but it's like so worth the results because they literally stay forever you will forever have like the gorgeous body so it's great so and that was it and after a week I left and um, for the next three months I wore my faha which was super uncomfortable here's a tip if you are going to get a BBL do not get it during the summertime because you have to wear a hot faha and your nerves are like reattaching and everything's fixing yourself so you get a lot of itching and if you have to cover that with sweating you're going to be absolutely miserable so if you're going to get a bbl i mean it's about to be fall so it's a, you know now is the perfect time but please try to avoid recovery um in some time so that's it you guys i hope that answered your questions about my surgery uh if you want to have another look about how i look as you can see again seven years later I posted a new update video with my measurements so if you guys you know have any other questions check it out all right thanks for watching bye